Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company in the commentary box today is of course Stuart Robson. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from Major League Soccer coming right up. It's Orlando City and they take on Toronto FC. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Number 21, Andres Perea. Number 11, Junior Erso. And number 10, Maurizio. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Options in the centre. And possibilities here. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Jimenez. Posuelo. And on the ball, Salcedo. Michael Bradley. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Jansson Ruan Pereira Ruan Chance to do damage And space for the cross body in the way that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick and that is goalkeeping of the very highest order a corner will ensue. Over it comes. A decisive clearance it was. Is it going to be? What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. <laughs> Kerr. Jesus Jimenez. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Pereira. Cara. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. Jonathan Osorio. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. K. 
Kara. Urso. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Posuelo. Bradley. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Really good challenge. Jonathan Osorio. Jimenez. Kerr. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Still on level terms. Moving the ball nicely. Must be! Flinging himself at it, the keeper. So the corner played into the box. Well, the delivery lacked a bit of guile. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Jimenez. Bradley. Well, in the end, nothing really to worry the keeper about. Physically strong and secure on the ball. No, high quality defending. And blocked for now. Michael Bradley. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Pereira. Torres. Moutinho. Pereira. Torres on the ball. No possibilities in the centre. He read it well defensively. They've lost it. Pereira. Well, no stopping him. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Not the best challenge. Free kick. Well, the referee making it clear on a different day, it could have been a booking. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Number 21, Andres Correa, entering the match. Number 8, Sebastian Mendes. 
and a long way out. Well, the free kick needed to be a lot better than that. Straight into the wall. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. As you can see, the visitors have had much less of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And time for the change now. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And that pass could be troublesome. That is really alert defending, just when the situation looked dangerous. Jonathan Osorio. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Jimenez. Not a particularly strong challenge. Oh, that might have sealed it for them. Well, he has to make the keeper work there. That's a bad miss. Substitution. Time for a change then. Coming off the pitch, number four, Michael Bradley, to be replaced by number eight, Ralph Crystal. Just ten minutes to go. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Dangerous-looking attack. Well, the timing of the pass, that little bit off. Making progress. Putting his body on the line. Well, not hard to read that pass. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. But he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really. And so it's a free kick. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. So a personnel change then. Maurizio Pereira entering the match. Number 13, Tesho Akindole. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Trying to pick out a teammate. It hasn't come to very much. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.